In the previous lectures, we have seen classful addressing solved questions using class C and class B. Now we will see the last question in classful addressing with class A as an example. We will start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to find the number of addresses, network address, broadcast address of a class A network. And we know basically there are five classes and we are going to see some example using class A address. We know in class A, the first octet will be between 0 and 127. So obviously, the network portion is going to be the first octet. So in an IP address, the first octet represents the network portion. The remaining three octets represents the host portion. So the default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0. So for example, if the first octet is 100, any IP address that starts with 100 will be belonging to the same network. And it doesn't care about the remaining three octets, say 100.1.1.5 as well as 100.255.255.5. Both of these computers are belonging to the same network because this class is mainly focused on the first octet. It doesn't care about the remaining three octets. Now, when we talk about the number of possible networks and hosts per network, we know the first octet we have 8 bits. Out of 8 bits, we know the first bit is reserved. So we have 7 bits here. So 2 power 7 networks are possible. 2 power 7 means it's 128 networks that are possible. 128 means IP address starts with 0, IP address starts with 1, 2, 3, up to 127. So 0 to 127, there are 128 networks that are possible. And in each network, we have a huge number of hosts. For example, how many portions are for the host? We have 3 octets. Each octet is of 8 bits, so we have 24 octets. So 2 power 24 is 1677216. And when we subtract 2 from it, we will get 1677214 hosts possible. In other words, we can use 1677214 IP addresses for our hosts. Such a big network it is, right? So in class C, we have more networks, wherein in each network we have less number of hosts. Coming to class B, we have moderate number of networks and moderate number of hosts per network. And coming to class A, we have less number of networks in class A, but we have a huge number of hosts or IP addresses that are possible per network. Let's understand things in a better way with an example. Let's dive into the question now. The question is, an organization follows class A for their internal network. One of the hosts in the network has an IP address 10.200.240.4. Find the number of addresses, the network address and the broadcast address of the organization's network. In the question, it is mentioned that there is a host in the class A network with IP address 10.200.240.4 and we are required to find the number of addresses, the network address that is the first address of the class A network and the broadcast address, which is the last address of the network or the subnet. Let's solve this question now. And we know it is a class A network, and the class A network means out of four octets in the IP address, the first octet represents the network. So in these four octets, this 10 alone is the network portion. So we know n dot h dot h dot h, where the first octet alone is the network portion, and we have remaining three portions for the host. And we know the default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 and it is also represented as slash 8. Why? There are only 8 ones in the subnet mask and these 8 ones are in the first octet. Now let's take the IP address which is given in the question. We know this is the IP address which is given in the question which is this IP address and in this IP address the first octet alone is the network portion. So anything that starts with 10 in that organization will be belonging to its own network. So here 10 alone is fixed and we have 3 octets remaining for the host. So 3 octets means each octet is 8 bits and 3 octet means we have 24 bits. So 2 power 24 IP addresses are possible. So the network range will be 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255. Why? Because only the first octet should match. It doesn't care about the remaining 3 octets. So here Right from the starting 10.0.0.0 to the end 10.255.255.255, we have a total of 2 power 24 IP addresses, which is equal to 1677216. 
And we know very well that two IP addresses cannot be used for the host because the first IP address in the network is the network address and the last IP address in the network is the broadcast address. So obviously, we have the number of usable addresses as 16777216 which is the total number of IP addresses minus 2 which is equal to 16777214 and we know this is the network address. So the first address is 10.0.0.0 is the network address and this is the broadcast address. So the last address is 10.255.255.255. We have some drawbacks with class full addressing. For example, if I want to create a network with 500 hosts per network, then obviously I cannot go for class C because in class C the maximum number of possible hosts itself is 256. Obviously I need to go for class B. Whereas in class B we can have a maximum of 65,536 hosts. But my requirement is just 500. Just for 500, I am going for a big network wherein I am gonna waste 65,000 plus IP addresses. So obviously, classful addressing wastes IP addresses. And that's why we are migrating to classless world. We will be elaborately dealing about the drawbacks of classful addressing in the coming lectures as well as what is the need for classless addressing. And that's it guys. I hope now you know how to find the number of addresses, the network address and the broadcast address of a class A network. I hope you guys enjoyed the lecture and thank you for watching.